Today on Real Talk, we've got an experienced agent's take on navigating this market. Check it out. Today, we have the wonderful Ashley Sidler with us. Ashley, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Ashley's been in real estate for quite a while and having the knowledge and skill set of such a long career is a super powerful tool in today's market. Seeing things that we haven't seen in quite a while. Ashley, how long have you actually been in real estate? I've been in real estate for 18 years. 18 years. And what do you think it takes to be a good realtor, especially in this market or along your career? Um, if I could pick three things, I guess I would say you have to be driven. I mean, your clients need to know that there's a little bit of grit in their corner. Um, you have to be, you know, compassionate. I mean, people are associated to these transactions. It's not, you can't just make it transactional. It has to be about the person uh, and their situations. You have to be very sensitive to that. Um, and I feel like you need to be relatable. I and mean, people need to realize that you're a real person. You're not just, you know, robotic and just going through the motions. You need to be with, with them um, through the whole experience. Yeah, they're going through a lot of stuff. They're going through, uh, you know, their house not selling for the price that they had hoped for, mm -hmm. coming in off the waves of a super, super hot market. Now right. things are changing. Mm -hmm. And how do you find that your experience has kind of helped you navigate those waters as things are changing? Uh, I feel like newer agents, and I don't want to stereotype newer agents, uh, will just tell the seller exactly what they want to hear. Um, that doesn't help anybody. I mean, we need to be real. We need to tell them what they need to hear, uh, whether that's, you know, the market is, you know, a little bit softer right now, which I feel like it's, that's not the word I would use. I would use as more of stable. I mean, we, we experienced a crazy market, seller's market. Now we're in a stable market where we had normal markets, um, normal timeframes where there'd be dips and there'd be, you know what I mean? Like we haven't had that in years where, you know, during the yeah. summer people would go on holidays um, and the market would slow down a little bit and then back in the fall and then slow down over Christmas. It's just never, it hasn't been like that for years, but that no. is the normal market. Exactly. Right? So right now people just need to, they just need to be educated and just have realistic expectations instead of jumping in with all these high hopes uh, and then disappointing them. They need the cold hard truth. Like you cannot sugarcoat right. it or right. you will cost people money. Right, right. That's the reality of it. Right. Uh, so over your 18 year career, you must have some pretty crazy stories of things that have happened to you in real estate. I do, I do. Uh, crazy stories for sure. Uh, a couple stand out. Um, I had this one incident where I went for a revisit and my client had purchased the property. Um, there had been a death on the property, which was disclosed. My client was fine with that. Uh, their family is very like psyche and into mediums and spiritual, okay. that kind of thing. So they wanted to have a friend come for the final walkthrough, uh, just to, you know, feel out the vibe of the house and what was kind of happening there. So I said, yeah, sure. No problem. So I was in the basement with my client, um, you know, just going through what he wanted to do with the basement. It was, you know, unfinished and, uh, I turned around and this, this lady had a seashell and it was burning sage and waving it around. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I was, I was not new in the industry, but this was, this is just something you don't experience. So I was just kind of like, okay. So we just went upstairs and by the time I got upstairs, I realized she'd done the whole house. Oh, it literally smelled like we were smoking something for hours and partying in there. So leaving the property, um, the sellers still live there. Uh, so it was a very awkward phone call to make no to the uh, listing yeah. agent. Um, but it was okay. We worked it out, yeah. but that was probably... Hey, it's just sage. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we weren't doing anything in there. I opened all the windows. Yeah. Um, that's what it smells like. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was the craziest. Um, funny story, like just a you know quirky, funny story. Uh, I'll give you the Coles notes of it. <laughs> My clients had painted their house, interior, exterior. Um, I went to go show the property and the door was stuck. So I like give it a nudge, give it a nudge, give it a nudge, you know, check the key, key turns, give it a nudge, give it a nudge full on went back a few steps and just rammed the door. It opened, I fell flat down. Um, I turned around real quick to see if anyone was there. My clients were standing right there. Oh, so, I mean, it was, it was funny, but again, like I'm a human, like these things happen, right? So we just laughed it off and just carried on. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Some great stories. Yeah. Uh, and then to finish it off, what do you think it's going to take uh, navigating forward? And what do you think the market's going to do uh, in the next uh, near future few months? I feel like, I mean, with, with the difference of the interest rates, I mean, 2017, the interest rates didn't really hike. Um, and then the market kind of stabilized really, mm -hmm. but the market did stabilize in 2017 uh, for whoever was working then. I know because I purchased a property, uh, I had flipped it and uh, sold it. 
and didn't make the money that I wanted to make simply because the market did slow down. So I, I, I feel like I feel like right now we're, we're, we're slowed down a little bit. I do feel like the market's gonna pop back up again. There's just so much, so much that Hamilton and our area has to offer. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lack. Of, there's still going to be a lack of inventories. You've got the um, people that are downsizing. You know, looking for the bungalow coming from their two-story. Builders aren't building bungalows, so I mean that's always going to be there. I agree with you. My honest opinion is it's going to bounce right back. Mm -hmm. uh, they they may have just set this outlook for interest rates to spook everybody to kind of curb spending, and they're not going to go to the actual number that they had said. And things yeah. should bounce back if that's the case. Yeah, I feel like it. And again, I'm you know just this is my opinion. Uh, I feel like it might just be a bit of a scare tactic to be like, hey guys. Yes. If this were to happen again, you know, be more cautious with your spending. You know, exactly. don't over, don't over mortgage yourself. Yeah, right? exactly. That's great. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Thanks again for having me. Yeah. <laughs>